I love this question. I have some bad news though, unfortunately. Yoga does not at all make you a better person. This is one of the biggest misconceptions on the spiritual path in any way, that yoga is somehow going to improve you or make you happier. So the problem with this equation is we come to yoga or any, anything we want to improve ourselves with. If we come to it from a place of feeling broken or I'm not already a good person, I want to be a better person, I'm lacking something, I'm screwed up somehow, and I need the external thing to make me complete, this mode, this way of operating is doomed to fail, right? If you come from to yoga or any spiritual practice from a place of deeply aligned, plugged in wholeness, fullness, and then yoga seems to call to you as a practice to enrich or enliven or illuminate that practice or that deep connection, that seems sustainable. You don't become a better person, you become a more aligned, connected, authentic person, perhaps through practice. That's all it is. It's not gonna make you better or happier. It's a big myth. If you come to it from that, it's gonna be a little disappointment, an increasing disappointment. It's not gonna work. Come to it from fullness, from a deep knowingness in your deep being, you drop in, then yoga can nourish that, illuminate that, and brighten that in ways you can't even see yet. It's marvelous. Mm, it's a lovely question, a tough one for the West because we've already borrowed so much of yoga and reinterpreted it, but we can put it in perhaps the broadest sense. Yoga is a collection of tools and practices and philosophies by which the yogi can practice that connection and reveal it to him or herself ongoingly, continuously as a lifestyle, but also as a way of being, right? Not just a practice you do, but something you become and something you embody through everything you do. I wouldn't call this a mistake that yoga students make because that's sort of inaccurate. I would call it maybe a misunderstanding. And one of the biggest ones is that in the West, we come to yoga as a practice for the physical body. It's all about physical movement and athleticism. And that's just one tiny sliver of it, right? The misunderstanding is, it's all about the external. And really, all we're doing is trying to aim inward and find that deep, still place in yourself. Through all our practices, right? Through asana, meditation, chanting, sweating, praying, whatever we can do, eating right, whatever it is, to tonify and get this body healthy so you can have more access to the deeper layers, find that still space in you that is free of or uncorrupted by all the noise and chaos of the monkey mind and your emotional body and your senses, all these things that sort of deceive us in the world. They're lovely tools, but they're not the real truth. So our practices guide us inward to that deep place. And then once you connect to that deep place way in you, once you find that and hold it with reverence, with devotion from that quiet place that's free of all your stuff and your worries, then you offer back out re-engage the world, and it seems to be a little bit, maybe more supple, lighter to play with, right? So, not a physical practice, a way in.